Alrighty, let's read this. I accidentally pressed live stream, and I uh, read this first time, and uh, I guess I forgot to press record, and I thought I was recording, unfortunately. Anyways, we're going to be reading Raised by Narcissist. Um, this title will be, Well, She Called the Cops on Herself. And this will always be in the description. Everything, any video I do on this will always be in the description to make sure you guys give support and help the individuals who have um, dealt with a lot of this stuff. Um, anyways, let's continue reading um, and kind of just do this. Well, she called the cops on herself. I was just rotting in bed, depressed. I'm on meds and doing a lot better, but there's still a day or two here and there where I just can't get myself together. She comes in and does some perfunctory performance, caring, you know, when they've decided to play nice, how they try to make themselves sound all gentle and sweet, but it's totally unauthentic because, well, they don't really care. When I didn't jump up and thank her for it, she lost her crap completely and started screaming at me, then whipped me in the face with an apron she was holding. Now, this is an issue, um, I would say, with a lot of um, abusive and just narcissistic parents. It's just, they tend to try to affo show affection in a form of being nice, but uh, when you've dealt with that a lot, you realize that it's all fake, and it's not real, really. And the only reason they're doing it is because they get attention out of it, and they get some affection out of it. Because I was just in a relationship recently, which I'm not going too far into, I just want to mention it because... It, all it was was somebody who just wanted my affection. They didn't actually care about me as a human being. They wanted my attention. They wanted my affection. But, oh, they did not want my bad days. They just wanted my good days and the affection that I was giving them. They would want to call me every time I was streaming. They would want to call me if I was recording a video, which I'd be fine with if they weren't only doing it for their own benefit and I think that really hurt because when I wanted to call it was oh I'm too busy I'm this and that but yet I forced I was forced to take tear, care of my other things and put things aside for someone else which is what you do in relationships right however I shouldn't have done that because now I wasted a little bit of time because I dated somebody who I shouldn't have dated in the first place that's really all I want to say about that is they didn't actually care and then I honestly kind of believe maybe she's a narcissistic too. I mean, she never really asked about the issues I've had. She never asked about the experiences I went through. She never asked about these things. Yet every day she would tell me she would love me. And then, of course, ghosted me completely while we were on the phone call, which is pretty sad, by the way. That's why I made a song about it. It was the first song I've ever wrote in so long because it pushed me to make this song, which tells you exactly how much I did care when it actually happened. And now I do not care whatsoever because guess what? Just like this video right here, or this on the bottom right, it says, No, I will not forgive my abusers. In some ways, I still stand by that with even people who are not necessarily physically abusive, but more have the maturity of a squirrel and aren't able to express their emotions properly and be able to actually, you know, ask about things and actually care about somebody because at the end of the day I will not forgive that person either because at the end of the day all they did was use me in some form some way they used me you know not everyone uses me but some people do and some people don't it's just the way of life especially when you have went through narcissistic parents and things like that because you tend to look for relationships and friendships that tend to just be a little bit better than what you've your normal like you, you feel like is normal and unfortunately that's the issue with that then of course there was a back and forth yelling match with me trying to reason with someone unreasonable like a fool i do this quite a lot somewhat i mean like even online i've done this where i'm like trying to reason with somebody who can't be reasoned with because they're narcissistic and the issue with narcissism is that like a lot of them are also misogynists like the, genuinely there's so many of them it's just pretty sad if you think about it because there's like it's just bad and all around it's that mentality which is just negative for anybody it's like when i move i'm cutting everybody off that even is remotely friends or related to my family whatsoever i I'm not talking to anybody because they don't deserve it. They do not deserve to have me. 
and that's the truth. And I do not deserve to have that negative energy around me. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to find people who make me happy, and I deserve to hang out with people who make me happy. And if you're watching this video too, you deserve that too. You deserve happiness. You don't deserve to feel like you are feeling every day that you wake up. You don't. You don't deserve that. After retreating to my room to cry and vent to my sister over the phone, I hear a knock on the door. There's a police officer standing there who seems to be extremely confused by how relieved I am to see him. Now, I want to go back to a couple years ago. Somebody from my school, probably a bully, um, obviously, most likely. I was in a relationship. I was happy. They called the cops on me and basically said I wanted to unalive myself. Did I? No. Have I thought about it? Sure. But a lot of the reason was just because of my environment, but I also didn't really tell people then. Um, and that was an issue. And uh, I thought it was the girlfriend I had at the time. I thought, oh, you know, I'll ask if she did it. And maybe she was worried about me, which, yes, if she was, that would have been her. But, like, she didn't care about me. Either. That's a whole other thing. But basically... You know, I don't know who called the police, and that's not the point. The point is, is when I did see the police officers, because there's two of them, I, they, they didn't listen to me. They, they didn't listen to me when I explained that I wasn't suicidal, that I am writing a book even at that point in time where I'm like, I wouldn't do this because I have this, and even now I wouldn't. Yes, I think about it, and sometimes I would be fine if something did happen, but I wouldn't do it myself. And obviously the rarity of something actually happening is even less than that. So that is, you know, kind of the thing. It's just I felt a little bit of relief when I seen them and I wish that they would, you know, pick me up and be able to save me in some way. Anyways, turns out my parents called and lied, told them I wanted to unalive myself. I mean, technically, yeah, but passive ideation versus active intent are two very different things, which is very true, as I was just saying. I think they were hoping I would just be hauled off for an involuntarily psych hold. Happily, I was able to talk reasonably and coherently to the officers and proved I wasn't a risk to myself and I already have mental health providers and a care plan in place. Then I showed them the video. I want to find videos of narcissists like being ver like in like arguments and fights and things like that and the reason why I want to do that is because I think it's important that we cover it I think it's important we look at the actions of said narcissist and their abuse like verbally or physically um to really kind of tell somebody who's going somebody who's in that situation what they could do to not feel that because sometimes you know we have bursts of anger there's sometimes bursts of sadness there's just different bursts of emotions that tend to happen due to the explosion that we force ourselves to have because we don't talk about it, or maybe we do talk about it, but we're not going to talk about it to the people who caused it. And the people who caused it are the ones causing you to blow up in the first place. I have my own issues. I have anger issues. I mean, it's different, but it's like I have my issues, and you know what I mean? There's not much I can do about that as of right now just because of where I live and my situation. However, when I move, I'm going to be getting therapy because I need therapy not just for issues there, but also for issues of how I have relationship anxiety. I, You know what I mean? That's pretty obvious because of all the terrible relationships I've been in and also relationships with my own abusive, narcissistic family. That is truly sad. Anyways, oh yeah, I started recording as soon as she attacked me. Before I continue reading, I just want to mention that it's a good thing you recorded it. I would love to have recorded all of these different instances, but I didn't have a phone back when I was really young. I didn't have all these things that I'd be able to record them and do this with, but I really wish I did. Because to tell you the truth, I would press charges. However, they would find a way to probably break the device and probably would have seen it because I was so young that I wouldn't you know, have that mind to just, you know, like, I would just you record, you know, and I've done it before, I've, I've recorded some conversations between my mom and my sister, who are both narcissists, by the way, 
I'm just literally the one they pick on 24-7, the one they always have arguments with, the one that they always just fight with about every little thing. And that, it hurts, it really does. Um, but they tend to cause it to be just constantly just terrible and just it hurts a lot to continuously deal with that and I really wish I recorded all these conversations but the one I did record um I don't really have it anymore I kind of just deleted it because my phone needed storage or whatever um and uh it was basically them just talking about how I have angry issues because I got mad at them because they would constantly threaten me and and I just got mad and the thing is when I say I got mad I wouldn't hit somebody I never did that um, but I've gotten mad and I shouted and I wanted out of the car because we were in the car. And to tell you the truth, sometimes I just want to jump out of the car when I'm with them and they're constantly in fights. And that's why I'm trying to stay away from them constantly because they're my issue. They're what trigger, that's what triggers me. It's not events in my life. It's not all these different things like words or actions that trigger me. What triggers me is seeing their face every single day that I wake up dealing with their voice every day I wake up that is what triggers me it's not all these other things I showed them the beginning where she screams I don't care unalive yourself right in my face they did have a huge attitude shift after that and once I made it clear that yes she had physically assaulted me that was it compulsory investigation I get to upload my video to the police and have to talk to a detective, decide whether I want to press charges. I might, I don't know yet, but the fact that it's being taken seriously, that I can actually talk to someone with some level of power and authority about this. Before I continue reading, I want to mention that I would have done the same. However, I probably would press charges like instantly. Um, and also, I really wish that like these instances, especially in the past, that I did have more recordings of these situations because it's important i think it's needed and also because at the end of the day the things that we have dealt with we do not need or deserve what we have felt what we have went through all these different things we don't deserve it and that's just the truth and i really wish as as i said i really wish all these instances i would have recorded because to tell you the truth the only thing i think i could do and maybe do would be able to sue them and that's i feel like that's not enough i mean would i sue them if i had all this evidence right now oh yeah for sure i i for as much as i could i would sue them i genuinely would i know it costs money for a lawyer it costs money all, for all these different things however i would genuinely sue them and i mean that the issue is like obviously i don't have this crazy amount of evidence I've gotten a few evidence, but it's not like enough, I would argue. I would love to have physical evidence of like, you know, the times in the past of just different things, you know, like from when she was married, from when my mom was married to the narcissistic husband. It's just, obviously it's not that easy. I have one person who's seen it, who I haven't talked to like in years because he moved, you know, and I, I thought about it though. I, I've thought about it quite a bit actually. And I really wanted to ask um, if he could help me there. But there's that nerve wracking where I'm just like, I don't want to bring it up to somebody who I haven't talked to in a while. You know, it just, it feels a little off if you ask me. But I really just genuinely want to be happy. And, and I, I do wish I could sue them a little bit so that's taken seriously and that I for all the pain I've dealt with in the past that I that it was worth it in a way and that I actually am looked at as like taken seriously I guess um unfortunately as of right now I uh haven't done that it's so different from how the police in my hometown covered up and made excuses for my parents how they failed me uh so my uncle is a cop I want to mention that because I don't know if he really knew of anything, but he's also friends with the narcissistic husband that my, my mom's ex-husband. Um, and obviously that was a problem, but there was a time where I could have moved in with them 
and instead of like allowing me to they decided not to and just keep me here which I didn't want I wanted to move in with him I probably would have had a better life to tell you the truth yeah, though there's also the chance that I wouldn't have but I think I would have the issue also too is that during this time there was a switch in my life where everybody was trying to force me to stay at my grandparents which sucked because then it felt like all the the things I was going through I was going to maybe not a worse place necessarily but to just as bad of a place I'd argue um and I just didn't want that I wanted to be away from everyone to tell you the truth but obviously it's not that easy maybe this time I won't fail I can get away from them find some help support actual real logical support to take real action I just want to get away from these people this is exactly how I feel every single day that I live and breathe. I think it's absolutely hilarious that their little plan backfired, and while now she's possibly facing charges, I'm getting help. So much for that. I just wish I didn't have to deal with any of this or these people at all. Sometimes I really just wish they could have been normal. Decent, kind people raising me, caring for me. That's all. That would have been wonderful. Instead, this mess. I don't know what happens next, but I'm writing this to log and date evidence as much as anything, but maybe I'll update if there's any fun developments. I don't know if there's any more uh, information as of right now there isn't, but I would genuinely love to see the video because like I said, it'd be really good for us to cover what happened and be able to actually see it, but I know that's like, it might not be able to because of legal reasons, I totally understand that. Um, you know, but I do want to find a video that kind of goes into depth of their actions and like what they say and what they do because I feel like if we touch on it, we can have more critical thinking and we can help people who are in these situations, especially younger people because, you know, the more time goes on when you're stuck somewhere, you're kind of getting worse by the day. And I think that we all need to um, make a change. We all need to help one another because that's all we can do. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand that. Let's do this. Let's help each other. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to also click on one of the two links on the screen as of right now. And you could subscribe. It means a lot because we are wanting to hit YouTube Partner eventually. And also, obviously, when you watch my videos, um, watching through all of them helps the most because you're adding watch time not only to that video, which also gets it better in the algorithm, but you're adding watch time on my YouTube channel overall, which means that it'd be a little bit easier for me to hit YouTube Partner. It takes a while because I still need the subs and stuff like that, but that's its own thing. You know, that is what it is. I know my content is very variety but it would still mean the world to me even if you just hit that subscribe and you watch only specific videos of mine. I've been thinking about opening a new YouTube channel. We'll talk about that in a different video, but thank you for watching. Anyways, peace out.